Hey guys, I'm back with another Minecraft tutorial. Here in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to build this farmhouse. It has two bedrooms and two bathrooms, a porch that wraps all the way around the entire house, and then a cool above ground pool in the backyard. But now let's go ahead and get right on into building it. So here's the plot size for the build. If you want just the house itself and none of the landscaping, then from left to right, you're going to need 32 blocks. From front to back, you're going to need 38. If you want the entire build, so that includes the house and all of the landscaping, then from left to right, you're going to need 52 blocks. From front to back, you're going to need 70. So at the left side, where that space is in between those two lines, you should still be able to see 6 blocks of grass. Then at the right side, in between those two lines, you should be able to count 12 blocks of grass. Then for the space in the front yard, in between those two lines, you should be able to count, once again, 12 blocks of grass. And then for the backyard, in between those two lines, you should be able to count 18 blocks of grass. Here in part 1, I'm going to be bringing up all of the exterior walls for both the first and second floor for the entire house. So be sure to go ahead and grab some pillar quartz blocks, white concrete, deep slate tiles, white stained glass panes, smooth quartz stairs, and spruce fences. So I'm going to be starting here at the front side of the build. Make sure you have your pillar quartz block and I'm going to go here at the left corner of the plot size for the house itself. So you can just start right here, work your way towards the back until you're on the seventh block. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now go over towards the right by an additional six. So this right here will be one, two, three, four, five and six so you can place a pillar quartz block right there so at the left of it you should still see five more spaces of grass right here and then also at the front now switch to your white concrete and go at the right side of this pillar quartz block that we just placed and you want to work your way over by 11. Then, switch back to your pillar quartz block, place one right there. So this is the front wall. Now go behind this pillar here where we just left off, make sure you have your white concrete, work your way towards the back and place an additional 7. Now starting here at the right of it, go ahead and place another 6. And then switch to your pillar quartz block, place one right there. And you should still see five more spaces of grass right here from the edge of this pillar quartz block to the edge of the plot size. So five spaces here. Now go behind that pillar where we left off again. Make sure to switch back to your white concrete. Work your way towards the back and place another 17. And then another pillar quartz block right after that. And now go to the left of that pillar quartz, switch back to your white concrete, and place another 18. And then back to your pillar quartz block and place one right there. So if I go up above real quick, I'll look down at it from the front side, and this is the shape we have for the house so far. So now we're going to go ahead and fill in the final wall right here. So if we look at the build from the front side, this is the left side of the house. So we're going to go right behind this pillar quartz block, work your way towards the back, and place another 9 blocks of the white concrete. And now, Go right here to the left of that, switch to your pillar quartz block, and just place one. And now, switch back to your white concrete, continue working your way towards the back, and place another six. And now back to your pillar quartz block, place one right there. Go to the right of that, switch back to your white concrete, and place another nine, and you should meet up with the pillar quartz block at the back side. So now, from up above at the front side, this is the entire shape for the house. So this is pretty much like the foundation for the house. 
Now make sure you have your pillar quartz block and just go in each corner where we have all the pillar quartz already marked out. We're going to go ahead and add an additional seven layers on top of it. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now you should be able to count a total of eight. I'm going to go where all of the other pillar quartz blocks are and do the same thing. So it should be like this. Now with my white concrete, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in all the other space in between the pillars until it's brought up to the same height as the pillars. So we have the front wall right here. So we're just lined up where all of the white concrete already is. And we're just going to bring it up by an additional seven layers so it's matched up to the same height as the pillars. So I'm going to do this all the way around and we'll be sure to then go back and cut out all of the holes for the doorways and the windows. So now I have all of that marked out, so it's just a solid wall of white concrete and pillar quartz blocks. Now with your pillar quartz block, we're just going to go where each of the pillar quartz already is and just place an additional 8. So I'm going to start here at the front, and I'll just bring it up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to do the same for all four corners here on this side. And then I'll go back to this corner here. We'll go ahead and bring that one up. And then this final corner here at the back side is a little bit different. We're actually going to be bringing in the wall right around here. And then it'll also be brought into right around here. So this is the only part that's not going to be brought up as a second floor. So I'll look over here at the right side. So that is the front over there. I'm here at the right. I'm going to line up where this pillar is and you just want to include this one and work your way over towards the left so that it'd be towards the front side by nine blocks. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now you could go ahead and place another eight pillar quartz blocks going up right here. So it'd be like that. And now let's line up where this pillar quartz block is again and work your way over towards the right when you're looking at it here from the back side. So I'm going to start right here and work your way over by 8. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And you could go ahead and bring it up by 8 right here. So now you can see this part right here is just going to be left as a one story. So the roof for the front porch or for like the wraparound porch will be going up and covering this portion up here. I'm going to look at it from the front side and this is what it should be looking like so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue with the white concrete and just go in between all of the pillars and completely fill it in to the same height as the pillars. So I'll start here at the front wall. And you know what, I'll go ahead and mark out just one layer for now. So it'll be just like this, just the same way we've done it for the first floor, except it's just a little bit different there at that back side. So just fill all of this in. So once you meet up with this corner here, you just want to go ahead and bring it right along until you're lined up with that pillar, and then you can connect it together. So now you can see there's just going to be a wall right here. And then go ahead and continue the sun. Wrap it back around towards the front side where we started. And now we have all of that marked out. So now I'm going to continue filling in all of that space until we're at the same height as the pillars. So this is what it's looking like. We brought up all of the walls, just pretty much marked it out for the second floor. So we just went ahead and left this corner as it is. So it's just like this. So I was planning on just doing all of the exterior walls for the main part of the house here in part one, but I think we'll have time to also do the porch which wraps all the way around the entire house. So I went ahead and gathered up the extra blocks we're gonna be using for that. So make sure to grab some smooth quartz slabs, some smooth quartz blocks, 
and then the deep slate tile slab and then you'll also need some anvils quartz bricks and then just the regular quartz stairs and regular quartz slabs so let's go ahead and start marking out the porch now so make sure you have your pillar quartz block i'm going to be starting here at the front side and just look over here at this left side where this pillar quartz block is and then go to the right of it so you're lined up with this second space of the white concrete make sure to skip over four spaces of grass so we have one two three and four so we're going to be right here on the fifth block you can place a pillar quartz block right there so right on the edge of the plot size here for the house itself we're left with four spaces in between that pillar and that wall and then we're lined up with the second space of the white concrete so we have an additional space here and then the pillar quartz block now go to the right of that pillar quartz place one more there just skip over one space like that and then skip over three spaces place one there skip over another space place one and now this pillar should now be lined up with the second space of the white concrete on this side just like how we did it for this one now go to the left of this pillar that we first placed and make sure to skip over six spaces so this will be one two three four five and six so you should be on the seventh block so now you're right here in the corner right up against the edge of the plot size here for the house go to the right side and go ahead and skip over another six spaces starting here So now you want to make sure you're on the seventh block place a pillar quartz block there so we're just left with six spaces in between them and now go right behind this pillar we just placed work your way towards the back so pretty much towards that wall right there and skip over another six spaces until you're on the seventh block so we're right there we left six spaces in between them so now we should have another four spaces here in between that pillar and that wall now go to the right of this pillar over towards the right side of the plot size skip over another six so now here on this seventh block you'll place it right there so you should be right on the edge of the plot size here at the right side so we marked out all of those pillars like that for now and now we just got to continue wrapping all the way around the rest of the house and continue skipping over six spaces and we're going to be right on the edge of the plot size so I'll start here at the right side. We're working our way towards the back. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're on the seventh block. Skip over another six until you meet up at that corner. On the right side, so that is the front side there. So I'm here at the right. You should see one, two, three, four and five pillar quartz blocks right along here just for this side now i'll head on over to this side over here and just like what we just did i'm just going to continue skipping over six spaces until we meet up with that corner back there so now i'm right there within the corner of the plot size here at the back side one thing to keep in mind, we have a pillar lined up with the corner of the house there that juts out. Same with this side. So those are both lined up. So you should then actually see three spaces in between that corner there and this pillar. This is the only part of the porch that has three spaces remaining. Everywhere else has four spaces. Now let's go ahead and do the back side. Now here at the back side, I'm just going to line up here where this pillar is. Skip over six spaces again. So we have one two three four five and six so we're going to be here on the seventh block place one and then i'll go ahead and skip over one place one skip over three place one skip over one and place one so that matches up with how we did the front side where the front door is and now we'll go ahead and skip over another six So we're on the seventh block and then we're left with an additional six spaces right here in between this pillar here in the corner we went all the way around and marked out all of the pillars for the entire porch so now what i'm gonna do is just add an additional seven more pillars on top of all of those so they'll then be eight in total so i'll start here we have one two three four five six and seven 
So now from the top to the bottom, it is a total of eight. So I'm going to go all the way around and continue doing that. And I'll see you guys once I have them all brought up. So I went all the way around and brought up all of those pillars. So this is looking pretty good so far. Now let's grab the regular quartz stair and quartz slab and we're going to mark out the step up here at the front and back side. So I'll start here at the front and you could just have three quartz stairs right here. This will be right on top of the plot size and then have a quartz stair or my bad a quartz slab on each side of those stairs. So it's just a little step up like that. We'll go here at the back side in the same spot and do the same thing. So right here. So now this is the only time we're going to be using the regular quartz stair and slab. So you could go ahead and just get rid of those so that we don't accidentally use them. And we'll just grab these again. So we have that marked out. The reason I wanted to use just the regular quartz stairs and slabs is because I'm going to have the quartz bricks right here on the floor for the porch. And the lines in the quartz brick actually lined up with the lines right here in between the regular stairs. But now... Let's go ahead and switch to the smooth quartz stairs. We're going to go in between all of these pillars and just have upside down smooth quartz stairs. So we'll start here where the space of one is, just have an upside down stair like that. In between the space of six here. So I'm just going to continue going all the way around in between all of the pillars and just fill in smooth quartz stairs facing upside down. So I marked out all of those upside down smooth quartz stairs. So just all the way around, looking like this. Now on top of all of those, I'm going to switch to the anvil. I'll also be sure to grab the quartz bricks. So we'll start with the anvils and on top of all of those smooth quartz stairs that we placed upside down, we're just going to have an anvil like this. So this is pretty much just the rallying to the porch. Okay, so now we have all of those anvils marked out. We'll go ahead and just move those out of our way. We're not going to be using those anymore here in part one. And now I'll just grab the smooth quartz block for now. Go ahead and switch to your quartz bricks. And now I'm going to start filling in all of the floors for the porch. So just all of this space within here. Wrapping all the way around. We're just going to fill in with one layer of the quartz bricks. So I'll see you guys once I have all of that done. So now I have all of the floors marked out for the entire porch. Now go ahead and switch to your smooth quartz blocks and I'm going to start filling in the ceiling for the porch. So we're going to be at the top layer of these pillar quartz blocks. I'm just going to go in between all of them and add a layer of the full blocks of the smooth quartz all throughout here. So I marked out all of those full blocks of the smooth quartz like that. So now I'm just going to go within all of that and continue filling the rest of it in. And this, like I said before, will be our ceilings. Alright, so I went all the way around and completely filled in the entire porch with the full blocks of the smooth quartz like that. Now I'm going to go underneath in between all of the pillars and just add a little bit of extra detail and then we'll go ahead and start doing the roof for the porch after that. So just make sure you have your smooth quartz slabs and we're going to go in between all of the pillars. We're just going to be half a block below the full blocks of the smooth quartz here and just add some slabs like that. So I'm going to go in between every single pillar and go all the way around with these slabs. And now, switch to your smooth quartz stairs. In between all of the spaces of six, we're just going to have an upside down smooth quartz stair on its side like that, so it looks like an arch. In between the spaces of one, we're just going to have a smooth quartz stair like that. And in between the spaces of three, once again, we'll just have a stair on each side like that. So we have another space of one, so just like that. 
And now we're gonna continue with the rest of the stairs, all for these spaces of six, until we meet up at the back side. And now we're here at the back, I'm just going to have one stair like that, the two on each side here for the space of three, the one stair there, and then the rest of the space would just be a sideways stair like that. So now I have all of that marked out, so it just looks like some little arches in between each of the pillars. Now continue with your smooth quartz stairs and we're going to start marking out the roof, starting with the overhang. And I'm just going to have upside down smooth quartz stairs, I'll just start it right here. And in each corner, we want to make sure to have a smooth quartz slab like that. And then you could go ahead and switch back to the smooth quartz stairs and continue just bringing this all the way along this entire front side. Once you meet up at the corner here, we're going to have another slab back to the stairs and just have these upside down all along this entire side. Have another slab right here in this corner, back to the stairs, work your way all the way along this side. Another slab here, and then stairs again. And then another slab, and then connect it back to where we started. Like that. So that's the entire overhang for the porch. So now the rest of the space, we're going to fill in with the deep slate tile slabs and this will be for the main roof of the porch. So with the slabs, I'm just going to go on top of the entire overhang, wrap all the way around and just add one layer of the deep slate slabs like this. And now on that same layer, just go ahead and add an additional section. So it's just going to be two spaces like this going all the way around. And now you want to go up another half a block and just do the same thing. So we're going to have this first section here and then on the same layer right next to it, we'll have another strip. So now, like I said, on that same layer, we'll just have an additional section. So now we have our first layer here with the two spaces, our second layer here with the two spaces. So now we want to go up another half a space and completely fill in all of the other space that you see. So now I have the entire roof for the porch all marked out. So it's looking like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and mark out all of the doorways and the windows for the main part of the walls. And then we'll leave it at that here for part 1. So now I just have the rest of the blocks we're going to continue using here in part 1. So just grab the full blocks of the deep slate tiles, the white stained glass panes, the smooth quartz stairs, and the spruce fences. So I'm going to start here at the front side and mark out where the doorway and a couple windows are going to be. So we're just going to line up right here where the space of three is. So we'll carve out three spaces like that. Make sure to do another three. So it'll then be a three by four block space like that. Then have your smooth quartz stairs, just three upside down there at the top. Switch to your white stained glass panes. We'll have three on each side going up. We'll curve out the bottom ones, and then the top ones. The empty spaces in the middle will fill in with a spruce fence, so that looks like the handle for this doorway that we have here. So now go to the right side of the doorway and skip over this one space, so we're lined up here. We're going to carve out four, have an upside down smooth quartz stair there at the top, and then three white stained glass panes. So this is just a small window here, and then we'll do the same here at the left side. So now we have this front door and the small windows marked out here. Now we'll head on to the back side and I'm going to do the same thing. We're just not going to be lined up where that one space is where the porch is. So it's not going to be lined up here. It's going to be over here on this part of the wall. So look at this pillar. Skip over the two spaces of white concrete. So we're going to be lined up with this third space. We'll carve out four spaces. Have the stair at the top and the white stained glass panes. Skip over one space. 
go to this space, curve out three, make sure it's four in height. We'll have the upside down smooth quartz stairs there at the top, white stained glass panes on each side, curve out the top and the bottom, and have a spruce fence for the handle right there. And then we have one more space here, which is another window. So now we have the back door marked out, and then we also have the front door marked out. So now, all I'm gonna do in the rest of this video, here for part 1, is just mark out all of the windows. So we're gonna start by using the full blocks of the deep slate tile, and we'll look over here at this wall, so I'm facing the front side of the house, and I'm just over here more towards this right wall. And I just want to leave one space of white concrete here at the left and at the bottom, so we're going to carve out four spaces here. So we have one at the bottom, one at the top, and then one space here away from that pillar. We'll work our way over towards the right, carve out another three. So then we're left with one space here. So it's just one space of white concrete all the way around. And though I have the deep slate tiles on each side, so four like that. And then two upside down smooth quartz stairs in between them at the top. And then the rest of the space will be filled in with white stained glass panes. So that is a window right there. We're going to do the same for this part of the wall here as well. So four by four is what we're cutting out. And then we're filling it in with the deep slate tile. The upside down smooth quartz stairs. And then the white stained glass panes. Then we'll look over here. We're going to leave one space of white concrete away from that pillar. We're going to do the same window. Whoops, not that big. Just four spaces wide, four blocks in height. So just the same window right here. And then more towards this back side. We're just going to skip over two spaces of white concrete this time. So we're lined up with this third space. Carve out four. We'll just fill that in with the deep slate tiles right now. And then we'll carve out another three spaces. Make sure it's four blocks in height. We'll have three upside down smooth quartz stairs. The rest of it filled in with white stained glass panes. So this window is just a little bit bigger than the other ones that we just did. So this window, as you can see, is a three by three. All the other ones are a two by three. So now we have this entire wall marked out. And then here at the back side, it's actually just going to be left entirely as it is. So there's not going to be any window or anything right here. It's just white concrete. So we'll look over here. We have a few windows on this wall. And then we have the entire first floor all marked out. So we'll go here at this part of the wall. We'll leave one space. And just carve out a 4x4 four four right here. So then we're left with three more spaces of white concrete here at the left of it, away from that pillar. So that is a window there. We'll go right here in the middle and do the same thing. So like that, leaving a space of white concrete around the entire edge. And then we have this section here, so we have this pillar, we have a space of white concrete, and then we're going to start right here, and do another 4x4. Four four. As you can see, we have one space here, but then three spaces here, away from the centerpiece here. For this side, there's actually just one space away from the centerpiece here, and then three spaces away from that corner. So it's a little bit different for that window and that window, as you can see. So this one is closer to that middle section. This one is further from that middle section. So just keep that in mind. But now we have the entire first floor of the house all marked out. So now I'm going to go here on the second floor where all these walls are, and mark out the rest of the windows. And then we'll leave it at that here for part one. So I'm going to be starting here at the front side and we have a big window right here. So make sure you have your deep slate tiles. And we're just going to pretty much still see half a space of white concrete here. And then it meets up where the roof is. And then we want to leave one space of white concrete here away from that pillar. So we're starting here on this block. 
we'll carve out five. We'll go to this side. We'll do the same thing. We'll go ahead and fill that in with the deep slate tile. And then we'll carve out another five spaces next to that. We'll have an upside down smooth quartz stair at the top. The rest of it will fill in with white stained glass panes. So it's just a total of four spaces of glass right here. And then we'll go ahead and delete all of the other white concrete right in between that, right down here in the middle. Bring it all the way up. Whoops, I just deleted a stair. Let me replace that. Okay, so now with your deep slate tiles, we'll have a strip of six going up along each side of the window here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's at the same height as the white concrete here for the main part of the wall. Do the same on that side. And then here at the top, we'll go ahead and have three upside down smooth quartz stairs. And then the rest of the space right here in the middle will be filled in with white stained glass panes. So we have a big window here for the center point of the wall here at the front side. We're going to be doing the same window at that back wall right there. But this is what it's looking like. So I'll go to the back wall. So I'll go ahead and mark it out real quick. So we'll look over here at this right side. We'll carve out five spaces. Do the same here at the left. We'll fill that in with the deep slate tiles. And then we'll go ahead and go next to that. Delete this other strip right here of the white concrete. Have an upside down stair white stained glass panes so i guess i'll go ahead and just show how to do this part of the window as well and then we'll go right down the middle we have a strip right here going all the way to the top we have the deep slate tiles upside down smooth quartz stairs here at the top then all this other space here in the middle will fill in with white stained glass panes So this is now the back side, matched up exactly how the front side is. So now I'll head on back up to the front side, and I'll start over here on this section of the house and mark out where all these windows are going to be. So now here for these parts, it's just going to be the same window that we had at the first floor. So once again, we'll just still see half a space of the white concrete at the bottom. Then we'll mark out a 4x4 four four space right here. Do the same for this part. And then you can just mark out the rest of the window. So it is like that. And then we'll look over here. And we'll go ahead and switch back to the deep slate tiles. And we're just going to have two windows. So it'll be like this window, but two of them just side by side. So we'll leave one space of white concrete here at the left. We'll carve out four. Go here towards this right side. Carve out another four. And then I'll just fill that in with a deep slate tile. And then we'll skip over two spaces and just have a strip of the deep slate tile right down the middle. And then you could delete all of the other white concrete in between those. Have upside down smooth quartz stairs at the top. And then white stained glass panes for the rest of this space. So it's like that. So now here for this wall, we're just going to have the same window again. So just four spaces down here at the bottom, bring it up like that. So it's just a four by four space. It's just the same window that we have right there. And then we have this wall. It's just going to be a little bit of a bigger window. So we'll carve out four spaces on each side, leaving one space like that. So you can see we're left with three spaces here in the middle. We'll go ahead and remove all of that. So we'll have a strip of the deep slate tile on each side. Upside down smooth quartz stairs there at the top. So you can see it's just a three by three window here. Like that. And then we'll go over to this final wall. And we're going to have one space of white concrete away from this pillar here. 
and it'll just be a 4x4 four four space. So just the same window that we've pretty much done just about everywhere else, like that window and that window and that one. So that's what's going to be here. And then we got this space that juts out right in the middle. We're going to have the same window like that again. And then over here, we'll go to this corner where the pillar quartz is on the outer side and carve out another four by four right here. So we're gonna have three windows here on this wall. And it is looking like that. So, I marked out all of the exterior walls for both the first and second floor of the main part of the house. And I wasn't planning on doing it, but I also did the entire porch wrapping around the house. So, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that here for part one. And in part two, we'll be sure to do the main part of the roof here for the center of the house. And then we'll also do all of the landscaping. Okay guys, that's gonna be it here for part one for this tutorial on how to build this farmhouse. If this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part two.